Good evening. It is indeed my honor to be invited to be the presenter for one of tonight's awards to Oscar Tang and Agnes Xu Tang. As a former trustee of Asia Society Hong Kong, I'm grateful for the generous support which Oscar and Agnes have provided towards both our programming and facilities. This is just one example of the many groundbreaking contributions they have given to various arts organizations over the years, including the Metropolitan Museum of Art to help build the museum's collection exhibition program of Chinese art, and the New York Historical Society to open the exhibition Chinese American Exclusion Inclusion about Chinese immigration experiences to the United States. Oscar and I served together on the board of trustees of Phillips Academy at Andover, where he was, as the president of our board, effectively my boss. However, more importantly, he was a shining role model for all of us. It is because of Oscar's leadership that during his tenure, the school was among the first in the United States to go need blind, giving underprivileged students better access to a great education. He constantly reminded us that we should be a private school with a public purpose. Oscar's and Agnes's support for education has been unwavering, having also founded institutes and centers of excellence at Berkeley, Columbia, and Oxford, among others. Their contributions to education and the arts are also matched by their fierce advocacy for social justice. Oscar was one of the co-founders of the Committee of 100, their latest campaign, which garnered the attention of the public, government, and industry player, is called the Yellow Whistle, and its mission is to combat anti-Asian violence in the United States. They are both an inspiration to us all. It is therefore with great pride that I present Oscar Tang and Agnes Xu Tang as maestro honorees. Patrons of the arts, bridge builders, philanthropists, activists, over the past decades, Oscar Tang and Agnes Xu Tang have tirelessly supported works across art, film, opera and music, and grassroots movements of social justice, including with their latest campaign, The Yellow Whistle, a U.S. campaign launched earlier this year to combat anti-Asian racism. Oscar, a retired financier, and Agnes, an archaeologist and international cultural heritage policy advisor, are long-standing advocates of the arts. Oscar is a director of the New York Philharmonic and was elected as its co-chairman in 2019. He has been a trustee of the Metropolitan Museum of Art for almost 30 years, one of the first Asian Americans, in fact. He was elected a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. And, along with Yu Yu Ma, I Am Pei, and three others, he founded the Committee of 100, a leadership organization to encourage rapport and understanding of the United States and China, and to promote the full participation of all Chinese Americans in American society. Agnes's passion for the arts is reflected in her positions as trustee of the New York Historical Society and as board member of the Metropolitan Opera since 2014. Agnes's leadership has led to the groundbreaking exhibition, Chinese American Exclusion Inclusion, about Chinese immigration experiences to the United States at the New York Historical Society in 2014. She was the bilingual host and narrator of two award-winning documentary series on History Channel Asia and Discovery Channel Asia, the latter a series on contemporary Chinese art that premiered at Asia Society Hong Kong Center in 2014. In 2016, she contributed to the dramaturgy and libretto of a new opera, Paradise Interrupted, which premiered at the Spoleto and Lincoln Center festivals. Oscar and Agnes have been active supporters of Asia Society Hong Kong Center, especially through the Jack Tan Memorial Lecture Series to honor Oscar's late brother, Jack. The series of programs convene senior leaders from business, academia, the nonprofit sector, and the arts to address the plight of the rural population in mainland China, an issue close to Jack's heart. Our visitor center has been recently named the Jack C. Tang Visitor Center in gratitude of their continuous support. In March this year, Oscar and Agnes co-founded the Yellow Whistle, an activist campaign to distribute free whistle emblazoned with the slogan, We Belong, to combat anti-Asian violence in the United States. In just a few short months, 
the campaign is now full blown, with nearly 100 outreach partners and counting, and to the highest level of the U.S. government, with conversations with Erica Moritugu, President Biden's new White House appointee on Asian American issues, and speaking engagements at a policy forum with Gary Locke, former U.S. ambassador to China. And at a national convening of all state attorney generals, whistles are being distributed starting April and throughout Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, from an initial amount of thirty thousand to two hundred thousand whistles, with whistles being supplied on May 15 for five coordinated anti-hate demonstrations in major cities across the states. We look forward to seeing the campaign continue to reach new heights. Oscar and Agnes's drive for social justice should inspire us all to strive for a better world. Good evening. I want to thank Ronnie Chan and the Board of Asia Society Hong Kong for bestowing this honor on Agnes and me. I remember more than thirty years ago、uh, when my brother Jack. Was talking to me. This was in New York. He was very focused on the founding of Asia Society Hong Kong. He felt that there was no place more suited for an institution such as Asia Society Hong Kong to bring knowledge and understanding and dialogue together between Asia and the rest of the world. So it's with particular pleasure <coughs> that we're able to honor my brother Jack、uh, with the naming of the visitor center at Asia Society Hong Kong、uh, in his honor, and we want to thank the board of Asia Society Hong Kong for being a- for allowing us to do that、uh, recently. So thank you. Again, I echo Oscar's thanks to all at Asia Society Hong Kong. We're honored to join our distinguished fellow honorees on this special evening, and we thank you all for honoring and celebrating Jack's legacy with us. My thanks go to Alice for having involved me in Asia Society Hong Kong since 2014, when she invited me to premiere a contemporary Chinese art documentary series that I was filming. Together, we hosted a popular salon during our Basel with the artist Shibing and the creative director of Discovery Channel Asia, Vikram Channa. Also, thanks to Rani, I had another opportunity to work with Alice and her exhibition team in the last few years, leading up to the launch of the Triennial. On behalf of the original team, founding director Bun Hui Tan, deputy director Ken Tan. And the two indefatigable fundraisers, Shane Doty and Lian Chong, and all the wonderful, amazing former members of the Global Arts Council who supported and believed in our original vision for the Triennial, we thank you, Asia Society Hong Kong, for having been a steadfast partner on this epic project. It has been said. Art is the highest form of hope. Let us all strive to keep art and hope alive in Hong Kong and for the rest of the world. We thank you. <laughs>